Hello and welcome to another farming simulator tutorial. This one is just going to be a basic overview and introduction into a lot of different aspects of Farming Simulator 2013. So basically if you're just starting out, you have a ton of questions that you want answered, this should answer a lot of them. Um, if you want to figure some of them out yourself, go ahead and click on these um, annotations to the direct link. Otherwise, we are going to get started with the episode. So obviously here's the menu. Um, let's real quick go over the different difficulties and what the difference is. If you go to easy, oops, um, basically you don't have as large of a loan right off the bat and missions give you a lot more money, crops are worth a lot more, and your hiring assistants don't cost very much to um, hire out. I believe in easy mode you have a $50,000 loan when you start whereas in hard mode you have a hundred and fifty thousand dollar loan when you start out missions give you two to four thousand in hard mode and around eight eight to ten I think in easy um, so hard mode huge loan to start out with uh, hiring workers cost a lot more crops are worth a lot less I think um, in hard mode canola is worth about four to five hundred um, without great demand, whereas in normal it's worth about eight, so about twice as much just from normal to hard. So a lot more expensive crops, and what else did I want to say? Yeah, I think that's it. Rewards, hiring workers, loan, alright, and crops. So let's go ahead and get into my game. I'm in hard mode, um, so everything you see will be hard mode prices and um, things like that. Implements are always the same, I believe. Uh, those don't... Uh, buying tractors and front loaders and everything in the shop are going to cost the same, regardless of difficulty. So, let's go ahead and look at the map and how to get around. If you push M... Oh, I don't know why I said that. If you push Tab, you'll fast travel to all of your vehicles. Um, so I'm just jumping around the entire map on each vehicle, each vehicle. Um, if you push escape, you'll get into your menu and you can look at two different map views. This one is of your field and what's grown and what's growing. So I have wheat here and canola there. These are all the different fields in the game. I only own the green ones, so I own these three and this one in my cow lot which I turn to grass. This is your vehicle screen where all of your vehicles are. So if I wanted to um, hop to this one, I could just click it, and I'd be there. Or I could just click this, and I'd be there. And then, um, again, tab goes ahead and just goes forward. If you want to reset a vehicle to your farm, so say I wanted this guy back at my farm, I can hit reset next vehicle and click it, and it's on my farm. Or if I want this water tank at my farm, click it, and there it is and there's my water tank. As well as fast traveling and the map, um, or real quick, the PDA also has a map. If you push I, it brings up your PDA. We'll get to that in just a second. And if you push 9, it zooms out. So we'll look at that in a little bit. Right now, look at the time. In the top right corner, you'll see it's at normal. Um, every minute of that time is a real minute in real life. If I speed it up, it's a 7 and 8. You can speed it up to 5, 15, 30, 60, and 120 times faster. So now it's just flying by. So you'll find different uses for that, and you can adjust it to whatever you're doing at the time. I'm going to go ahead and just put it to normal time right now. Uh, let's look at the PDA. So the first, so if you hit I, it brings up your PDA. First thing is the map. Pushing 9 um, does your different PDA options, so in the map it just zooms in and out. So you can see uh, the chicken is where your chickens are, the egg in, that, in the top is where you can sell your eggs, the shopping baskets, the shop, though you never have to go there. In the very bottom you see wool, that's where you sell your wool, um, and we'll get to all the animal stuff later. So if I now if I tab, you can see where all my vehicles are, because I'm just jumping around the map. Um, let's go home though, here I am. Let's look at the next part of the PDA. So I pushed I again and go to the next screen. Here's your weather forecast. 
and you can see up to 13 days. Uh, basically if it rains you can't harvest so that's about the only importance of the weather. Here's all your prices of crops and we'll look at that in a little bit as well. Here's your finances. You can look at up to two days ago. There's a way better way, a much better way to uh, look at your finances so I never use this so we'll skip that. And this part of the PDA, so this is the last little chunk, is um, probably the most important. It has all your crops, livestock, stats. So I'm here, here's my crops, and those are all the units in my storage bins right there. Um, so you can see I have no corn, potato, or sugar beets, and that's because I just haven't bought the tools to plant them yet. If I push nine, here's my balance, my session, my total, so you can see that I've played 78 hours on this um, particular save file. And four horseshoes found, just because I haven't went and looked for them. Here's my cow stats, I own 30, they're at 100% productivity, we'll talk about all that later. Sheep, chickens, and back to the beginning. So there's the PDA, um, a really quick overview. Overview. Now let's look at banking and finances. If you push insert, this screen will pop up. Here's your loan, how much you owe to the bank. I just bought the best harvester in the game, so I'm in debt again. You can borrow 5000 at a time up to $200,000. Once you get to 200000 you can't borrow anymore. To repay, you just do that. You can only repay or borrow in chunks of $5,000. Um, here is today's finances, yesterday's and the day before's. You can see I ended um, two days ago with $55,000 profit, profit, and that's because I sold a bunch of canola at great demand. Um, I didn't buy any new vehicles in the last couple days. I was spending about $660 on livestock and you can just see it's all broken down. Other is like wool, eggs, um, cows, things like that. Mission, I don't do missions anymore so I don't have any income, but uh, we'll talk about that right now. Let's talk about missions. So there's two types of missions. You can change them here, how often they show up, 20 minutes, 10, 5 or 2. I have it off, I don't want them. Um, they're, they're really good in the beginning to get quick money, but after a while I just would rather spend my time doing other things. There's mowing missions and front loader missions. Mowing missions will either be here at the golf course or here at the campsite and it'll tell you um, where it's at on your PDA. The mower, you can, there's a lot of different types of mowers, it's up to you what you want. You can start out with just the uh, profi hopper which will basically pay for itself in one mission. But I recommend just going ahead and getting this and hooking it to a tractor. This thing is so slow, I never bought it. I don't like it, but up to you. The other types of missions are front loader missions where you will have to go pick up a crate of something and then take it somewhere else. So let's go over front loader controls really quick. Uh, here's a pallet of wool that I'll just show you on. Push F for the light. Now, I use N and J to raise and lower it, and I use M and K to do that thing. So I'm going to lower it, push M so it's about there, and then you just drive forward into it. There, and now I push M to raise it, and J to raise it up like that, and then I can drive to wherever my pallet needs to go. So those are the two types of missions that you will fine let's go home just because I just like being here um, let's look at the shop now if you push P you'll get to your shop they're all sorted by different things um, here's all the sales going on here's everything I own and how many here's the machine types which is usually where I shop from if you want a certain brand animals placeable objects and then mods uh, mods you can download by going to that front menu screen and hitting download mods. It's really, really easy. They make it super simple. Um, let's look real quick just at kind of the basics of purchasing. Um, say I want a new tipper. Sure. Um, has your prices here. 
what your volume is that you can load. So this one holds 35,000. This is the one I have. It costs forty dollars a day just to own it. So if you get the really nice one, it's going to cost you eighty dollars a day, and everything you know has their own price. What the use is? If I wanted to sell this right now, I could sell it for nineteen thousand three hundred seventy-five dollars. So you sell it at half the price. However, if you take it to the shop, um, I wish I would have been a little more ready for this. Sorry about that. There is a way to sell things for more than half the price. So I will go ahead and take it to the shop quick. Um, this will give you a good chance to see where the town is. So it's just right down the street. It's really nice and conveniently located close to you. You can see I just harvested canola on the right side. There's a little canola symbol. And in the bottom right, I have 27,000 units in it. So if I wanted to sell um, this tipper for more than half price, I drive it in this little yellow thing. And then I can hit R on this. And it'll say, do you want to sell this for this much money? And then you hit yes if you want to sell it but I don't want to sell it, so I am not going to do that. Let's go back to the shop and talk about placeable objects quick. These things make you money by just sitting there for the most part. Bee houses, they cost a little bit per day, but per hour you make that much, and all you do is buy it and set it down. Greenhouses, you have to feed manure, solid manure, and um, water, and um, there will be a, t a link in the description on one of my tutorials about greenhouses. And these things are another thing, uh, another couple things that just sit there and collect you a lot of money, but they are very expensive. So um, we'll show you real quick how to place an object. So I need money, bee house, there you are. There's all my bee houses. You can put them wherever you want. Say I want a bee house um, by my house for some reason. There you go, and there it is. Um, if I wanted to run over and show you, it would be there. Um, I don't want to spend the time doing that. You can see my four lined up over there. They're just making me money. I have to do nothing with bee houses uh, except set them, set them down, buy them, and set them. Um, let's look at livestock. Uh, again, there'll be a couple links in the tutorials over livestock. This will just be a quick, quick overview. There's three different types: cows, sheep, chickens. Chickens are the easiest thing. You buy them. They come in their little pen and they give you one egg a day. You come pick up the eggs, you go sell the eggs at the basket, the little egg marker, whenever you want. You can hold, a, I have 448 eggs right now that I'm carrying, so you don't have to sell them all the time. Pick them up, um, and that's it. You don't have to feed them, you don't have to do anything else with them, and they don't really cost anything to own. Sheep, ah, that's where I wanted to be. Here's my sheep. You can see them out there grazing. Sheep are a little more expensive. Still pretty cheap to maintain. Um, the nice thing about sheep is all you have to do is feed them grass from a from either a profi hopper or just a forage wagon. Feed them grass, and they will produce wool at 100% productivity, which is what I picked up earlier with my front loader. Pick up your wool there; it just clicks automatically and go sell it at the wool icon. Um, I think that's all there's to say about sheep right now. Cows are a lot more difficult. They're very expensive. Um, all I have to do with cows though is feed them. Once you feed them, the milk collects automatically and is sold automatically. However, feeding them is a whole different story. There's a lot of different... sorry about this. A lot of different types of feed. There's mixed ration, silage, grass, and straw. If you you can just feed them grass if you want to start out with just a couple of cows and feeding them grass, but they'll only produce milk at I think 35% productivity. And then with different combinations, you get better productivity. And there'll be a link in the description to a chart I made um, over all the different combinations and the productivity amount. 
Now to end this episode, we'll take a quick look at hired workers. Um, or let's just look at the screen real quick. So you have PDA in the left. I probably should have done this in the beginning, but too late now. PDA in the left, obviously, and I don't want that up anymore. Top right's the time. We looked at that. Now, in the top left are all the controls for whatever vehicle you're in or whatever you're doing. So in the top left, you can see I can turn on lights, um, lower the cutter, turn on the cutter, or hire a worker. And we're going to look at hiring a worker in just a little bit. In the bottom right are your um, speed, f how much is in whatever unit you're driving. So right now, however much is in my harvester will show up there. I have eight, that much fuel, which is full, and that's how much money I have. So let's go ahead and hire a worker. Basically, all you have to do is line it up, however you want it, and then push H. And that's it. And now they will drive down to the end, turn it around and come back until they are finished. Uh, this is really nice with harvesting. Uh, it's really nice with harvesting because you can get your tipper and drive alongside your harvester while the worker harvests. So you can, uh, especially with that beginning harvester, when you only can hold 1500 units in it, you really want to drive beside it and pick up the uh, grain. I thought I was better prepared for this episode. I do apologize for these little setbacks. Hopefully you learn a little bit while they're going on. So whenever I have something that I want in these silos, just go over here, dump it. It'll automatically go into the correct bin. So we are going to show you um, driving beside a hired worker. Hired workers can be used to harvest and to plant if you want to. So I could um, get a tractor, hook it up to my sower, line it up in the field, push H, and it'll raise and lower the whatever that gauge thing is called and just plant the field. So the nice thing about uh, this part of it, sorry, I'm bad with words this moment, um, is that the worker will actually pipe out and in automatically. So when I get close, you'll see the pipe will come out. And when I drive away, it'll go back in. So I drive next to it, pipe comes out, grain will start to fall in my tipper once I'm underneath it. Now I push four. The four button is your harvesting cruise control. One is slow, two is medium, three is fast. Four is harvesting speed. So I push four and I can just ride along beside it. You can see in the bottom right my, oh, this, there we go. You can see in the bottom right uh, my tipper's filling up with that much wheat. In the very right, you can see the wheat. Um, and now, I said that was going to end the episode, but I lied. Uh, I'm sorry about that again. Let's look at crops really, really quick. Um, get away from the loud harvester. There are that many different types of crops. You can start out planting wheat, barley, and canola with your sower. You, then you need to buy specific sowers for corn, another one for potatoes, and another one for sugar beets, as well as specific harvesters for those. That's why I don't have them yet, I just didn't want to bother. You sell them at the farm shop, freight yard, inn, mill, and the port, so there's five different locations. And once in a while, there'll be a great demand on a certain crop, and they'll just sell for a higher amount, and you can see that in green. So if you look at the map, um, I'm gonna go ahead and point out where all of these are. So the port is up here in the top left, the freight right here, the inn is way over here, it's this tiny little thing, the mill is here, and the farm shop is here. Um, if you have your manual to the game, it has this map and it can show you where they are. So I think that's everything I wanted to cover. Um, I, Again, I didn't cover everything. 
Um, I didn't cover some of the things I covered very well, but hopefully you learned a few things. If you learned anything, if it helped at all, please like. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't, and have a very good day.